as drone technology and cameras and sensors become more advanced, I worry not just the government use of drones, and, and Mr. Miller has spoken very frankly on, on that, but the ability of private companies and individuals to intrude on the privacy of Americans. What do you see as the most significant? If you had a list like the, one or two of the most significant uh, privacy threats from the domestic use of drones, what would it be? The, the most significant trends in domestic use? Uh, uh, what are the uh, most significant privacy threats from uh, domestic use? Um, one of them is going to be, I believe, um, what you had just mentioned is the persistent surveillance. Um, although uh, Mr. Miller talked that there's never been a need for that, I think we saw in United States versus Jones, as the ranking member brought up in his opening remarks, that law enforcement has conducted persistent surveillance using other technologies and that that is going to be a significant consideration as drone surveillance moves forward. I also think, since the FAA is strictly prohibited from regulating model aircraft or individual use of drones, that there's going to be an issue with um, stalking harassment and other crimes using drones by individuals and um, perhaps by corporations as well. Does uh, Congress have a role to play in, in this area? Yes, I do, I do believe they have a significant role to play. As I mentioned in my opening statements, the states have looked extensively at drone surveillance laws. And at my last check, over 30 states have introduced legislation on this issue. However, Congress can provide nationwide baseline privacy standards in order to ensure that um, individual rights and civil liberties are protected against drone surveillance. Thank you, and, and Professor Kalen, and uh, I also have a question for Mr. Toscano, but I know it's my time, it's almost out, and I'll submit that for the record. I'd appreciate it if you would respond. Uh, Professor Kalen, you talked about Supreme Court cases regarding the constitutionality of aerial surveillance, which we have read, but do you believe that that uh, body of Supreme Court cases are adequate for uh, to guide the courts and law enforcement in the area of uh, unmanned surveillance? I, I'm not sure that I even think they're adequate to, to you know, for, for purposes of manned surveillance. Um, but with unmanned surveillance, there's an, there's an additional danger that as the costs go down, you see more of it. Um, and so, uh, so, no, I'm not sure that they're adequate. I think they need to be updated. Thank you very much, Senator Gray.